Hey y'all, it's Zach. Uh, we're back tonight. We're making some grilled cheese in our air fryer. So if you hear a noise, that's background noise, that's what it's going to be. Um, so we're going to make some Tuscan chicken pasta. Uh, I'm going to show you the ingredients. I got about a pound and a half of uh, boneless chicken breast, skinless ch boneless skin chicken breast. I've got a box of penne pasta. I've got a box of 32 ounce chicken broth. I've got some spinach here in the background. Some fresh spinach um, in the bag. Salt. Basil, here's what's gonna add the flavor to it. Sun-dried tomatoes. All right, I got a medium onion, and I've got a eight ounce thing of cream cheese, and about two or three cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up my chicken into you know, pieces, and I'm gonna go ahead and dice my onions, or my onion and my garlic, and then we'll be back. All right, so we got everything chopped up, diced up. I turn my saute function on, Instapot. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. And we'll add some salt and pepper. Mix it up real quick. All right, and do it one more time. Now I'm gonna take my diced onions. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in at the same time, and we're gonna let them brown for about about eight minutes. Uh, and we'll put this in the dishwasher so we don't use it again. I'll right, we'll get that cooked down, brown, and we'll be back. All right, so we've been browning the chicken and the onions for about about eight minutes, and we're gonna put my garlic in there. We're gonna add the garlic for about the last minute because you don't want to get bitter. So, and I'm gonna add, I cut up my sun dried tomatoes. I'm gonna add those in there. All right, I'm gonna stir them around for about one minute or about two sips of my beer. Just kind of sweat the flavor out of that, those tomatoes in my garlic. All right, I'm gonna turn the saute function off. And I've got my stock, the broth, whatever you use. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there to deglaze. All right, stop the cooking process. All right, so I've got my box of peanut pasta. Put that in there. All right. Now I'm gonna take my oil, the oil I had left over from my sweet, from my sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna add about half of that on top of those noodles. All right, I don't want to have my, the rest of my chicken broth. And you just want to make sure that your noodles are wet and almost submerged. So, all right, I've got about, a, I've got one tablespoon of basil in here. I'm going to add the top of that. So, all right. Take your lid, make sure it's all sealed. Pressure cook, bring it down to five minutes. All right, we'll be back. Please? All right, so we did a five minute uh, pressure cook and then I did a, a five minute natural release and I flipped the switch. So I went ahead and put my cream cheese in here to get it melted down. I'm gonna start adding some spinach in there to get it wilted in with that cream cheese. So. All right, this spinach is gonna cook down pretty good. So we'll go ahead and melt that cream cheese and I'll add the spinach as it wilts and as I need it. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, so we've got the cream cheese and the spinach wilted in there and it's turned out really good. Uh, highly recommend this, this uh, recipe. So, all right, we'll see y'all next time.